Guys, keep in mind that now to win this truck or my 2018 Mega Cab Longhorn, my dream truck, you now have 24 hours until the last minute. Do not regret not knowing if you could have been that lucky person to get home with a new truck. Yo, what is up, Loud and Proud Crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So, you guys have been loving the live streams lately. We've been getting like more views on live streams and like some videos, but I delete the live streams off just because they're not like clean cut video. They're just kind of like, Something I'll leave up for about 24 hours to answer some questions and stuff, have a good time, and then I just take them off. Jeshua over here, he's got a YouTube channel, Jeshua F. We're gonna be working on a couple of things on the first one today, but mostly what we're doing today is because we are down to crunch time, by the way, for the giveaway for the Longhorn or the Red 5 Speed first one. Do not miss out. A lot of people wait to the last minute, and then they decide, oh shoot, I should probably enter, and then we're already out of a lot of stuff, and then they can't pick what they want. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway, do not do not wait till the last second because once stuff's gone, it's going to be gone. Thank you guys so much for all the support thus far. Information down in the description below. Every $15 is another entry to win. Don't miss out. Okay, so here's the turbo that we just got in. And yes, I bought it off eBay. And yes, it was very cheap. Um, will it last a very long time? I, I'm not sure. I'm not going to bank on it. But in the same sense, for this truck, guys, I just want you guys to know, this is a truck that I'm like building, hoping that... Oh my gosh, it's hopefully it lasts me, you know, 10, 15 years. I need it to last a long, long time. Like this truck is just project play truck for the channel. This is a content piece in and of itself. That's why I bought it with so many freaking miles on it. I got it so cheap. The reason I even bought a two wheel drive because it was, it's play truck. So we're just going to do some goofy stuff with it and get it to just uh, have a, have a good time and then just see how long it runs. But in the same sense, I'm not, I'm not really worried about you know, in terms of like the highest quality, most expensive parts in, in a truck like this particular one. Now, totally different subject if we're putting it in a brand new truck or a giveaway truck, then obviously I'm going to run way better parts and get everything done professionally. But for this truck, just not something I'm worried about. Also, new decal. New decal, my decal man hooked me up, hooked me up with that for free, actually. The reason I didn't stick with the H1C is because of this. Okay, this adapter plate needs to work on the turbo, otherwise you can't really use it. And on the back of the H1C, as you can tell, there's no way to mount that on there. And then if you come around to the new turbo here, this is the back of this turbo, and this is why I bought it, so I could mount this up to there, because that's what you gotta do to be able to make the uh, S475 exhaust side mount up to the exhaust side on this one. So. Um, as far as I can tell, I don't know what all has to go into a turbo to make it a quality or long lasting product, but the wheel spins very freely, very loosely. Um, I mean, not completely. I mean, there's a very, 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 very slight resistance, but it very freely spins. If you just give it a little flick with the finger on the end of the wheel there, I mean, it spins around, uh, spins around a few times, you know? So, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. Everything in there is all oiled up. All the bearings are oiled. Um, and it's very, very clean. But so we're gonna get this back plate taken off. We're gonna mount up the new one. We're gonna get this set in the truck, bolt it on, connect the S475 exhaust side to the S exhaust side on this one, and then maybe throw in a couple more parts and a couple small things um, just to get it tied up just a little bit. But in the same sense, this video is essentially to update you on the turbo setup that, I, that I'm gonna go for on this truck. I wasn't planning on making a video today anyhow, but I figured, uh, what the heck, we'll do it. Also, if you're seeing this video, tonight we're probably going to be doing a live stream. Don't miss out on that. It's probably gonna be, I'm gonna say between 7 and 9 p.m. is probably roughly when it's gonna be. And I don't know for sure, but you should get a notification when it goes up. It seemed like we were here for like six hours at least. It seemed like you just feel like you ever never get anything done, but um, this is what we got put together so far. We got the oil drain lines down in, and we gotta bend those around a little bit just to straighten them out and stuff. It was just a pain in the butt to get them down in there to fit into the oil drain port. And then we got the feed line on the S475 in. It's just sitting aside here with a cap on the end here, but we did get that spreaded in because it would have been a pain otherwise if we would have waited. Um, and then we've got this one here ready to go. This is the HX35. We left all the covers and stuff on here right now, but um, 
yeah for now that's that's what we got going on and of course these we've got the bolts ran through we've got the v-band on the we've got the v-band on the back here the flange all that stuff we're still going to have to do a couple adjustments to make everything work and line up but um nonetheless that's i mean that's where we got it doesn't seem like enough to have been done for that many hours worth of work but luckily i had joshua here to help me out because it just requires more manpower than one person especially when you're trying to like lift a 50 pound turbo and line stuff up and run bolts and it's just just a little bit of a mess unless you have help so um, it was a big help to have him here we got to try to get some video for him and for his channel because he's got to get some stuff done too and then other than that i wish i had more to go out today but i just don't that's just it i mean this is just this is all we got done quite honestly um but once we get this hooked up, I'm probably going to throw the valve covers back on. And then after we get the truck running, just make sure we don't have any exhaust leaks or turbo issues. Then throw on the injectors, valve springs, head studs, rocker pedestals, all that stuff. Um, just to try to make sure one thing is done right before we go tearing everything else apart. And then you never know if you get a weird, funny sound and you don't know where in the heck it's coming from because you did so many different things. But, but that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. That's where that's it. That's what we've got so far. And I know it's a cheap turbo. I don't really care. That's like a remanufactured HX35. I got it really cheap, but I don't really care. Project play truck. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know the video wasn't very long and it didn't seem like a ton happened, but we do have the two turbos in there at least mounted up now. We do have to make a couple small adjustments. We gotta run some oil feed and drain lines. Um, then we have to hook up the whole piping kit. But then other than that, there's really not as much to do as you would think to at least get the truck to where we can at least start it back up. And we can still run the compound kit even without all the other fuel mods done. It's not gonna get a lot of use out of it yet, but you can still use it at least until um, before those other things are done. And just to make sure everything's good, we don't have an exhaust leak or something or a manifold leak and then have to rip it all apart, you know what I mean? But um, at least if we do a start up and run, with just the kit on, then if we have any sounds, we know it's coming from that versus you never know what weird engine sounds you can get if you wait until you throw in all the new parts and everything else. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget that the LMP Longhorn slash First Janky Boy is ending. Do not wait until the last minute. Don't miss out. Link in the description, information down below. Thank you guys so much. Join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.